Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of XPS Updates, the show that brings you all of the hottest information for our fantastic application, Final Fantasy Brave XPS Global, available to you on iOS, Android, as well as Amazon devices. I am your host, Shali, and we're here with our always special guest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hirok. I'm producer of Final Fantasy Brave XPS Global version uh, today. Mm -hmm. mm. It, the, in this update, we will introduce you to the unit you have been all waiting for. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, the master who taught Roswell swordmanship. Mm -hmm. The mighty Axter! Axter! Axter the rock star! <laughs> And yes, yes, we have been waiting for Axar for a very, very long time. Yes. So I am very excited to hear what is coming with him and what we can expect for him in Global. Yes, but not but. only that. Uh -huh. So today, it's not only about Axter. So I have another surprise for you. So uh, please look forward to it. Mm, we love surprises <laughs> in the world of FFB. Let's see what it's going to be. I want more details. Please hurry. Yes, occasionally. <laughs> But on to you, Alex! Hello everyone, it's me, I'm back, I'm Alexander, and oh, good to see you again. Hello How are there. you doing? No, uh, I'm doing good. good. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well. Again, thank you for watching, and uh, today I've also got the latest information from the dev team, I'm ready to share it with you, so please get excited for that. And I know you all want to know a lot about Axstar, which mm -hmm. was right, that name drop right there. Yep. But before that, I would like to introduce the story event to you guys first. Yes, let's get into it. Yeah, so it's going to be the usual uh, kind of story event, this time out for Vengeance, right? It's going to be oh. Axstar's mm -hmm. uh, story. And players, you can actually use uh, Axstar and try him out during the story event as a friend unit. Nice. So even if you don't have him, you can try him out first, see if you like him. Right. Um, and uh, it's going to be your usual event, but for the main reward this time, we'll have first the Jet Black Eye Patch, mm -hmm. which will give plus 18 attack, enable plus 15% HP, and Crisis Evasion, which will give you a chance of evading some physical attacks. So look forward to that. Mm -hmm. I believe this is one of the rare pieces of hat equipment with physical evasion. Correct. And I believe there's only one other one. Maybe I, I'm so apprehensive about ever saying I believe there is only another one because the moment that I say that, the comments <laughs> or the chat completely destroys me and, you know, everybody lists out the rest yeah. of them. So it is definitely one rare piece of equipment that happens to be a hat that gives you physical evasion. I, there is another one that you can obtain from Madam's Manor. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's not something that you can just get at a shop. And it's not something that exactly. you can just craft at any old time. So definitely take advantage of this particular story event to get yourself this eye patch. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And uh, but there's also one more main reward called Lawless Blades. This time plus 71 attack on this one, mm -hmm. and it will enable double trouble, which will let you. Uh, yeah, your normal attack will basically hit mm -hmm. two times. Nice. So this might be pretty good, actually, for any new players out there who just rolled Axe Star and you don't have a good uh, katana uh, to use mm -hmm. with him yet. Might as well, you know, go for this one. It won't be such a bad choice at all. Yeah, you'll have a little bit of attack and you'll be attacking twice if you do a normal attack. So that's not, not a way, not bad way to start if you're uh, a beginner, definitely. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, with that said, with the new events also come new units, so let's go take a look at those. All right, our first new unit is going to be Majora. She's a 3 2 5 star magic okay. attacker who focuses on a little bit of debuffing. Her TMR is called Mystical Incense Burner, which is, spoiler alert, a big part of the actual story event, so, you know. Eye out for that one. Uh, defense plus three, spirit plus three, uh, plus 20% plus HP and plus 20% MP. So, you know, pretty good to equip okay. on your mages. Uh, it also restores MP every turn, so you get that, that refresh action, which is also great. You know, a, a pretty powerful three to pretty five decent, star. Yeah, yeah I, I enjoy her. And now we're going to move on to um, Tomoe. Um, 
four to six star this time, and she is a gun user who can also do a little bit of damage and also debuff. Her LB, or limit burst, is going to deal partial and mitigated damage to one enemy, and her trust master is the gun Lagoa. Now this gun is a two-handed gun, and it has an attack of 130. Okay. So if you don't already have a pretty like hefty two-handed gun, this is your chance to get one relatively easy. Since she's a four star, she's not going to be that difficult to drop, and all you have to mm -hmm. do is just farm that TMR and get yourself that nice big gun. All right, moving on to Gravy, our four, another four to six star. Gra Gravy is going to be the cowboy of the story, which is very interesting because I believe he uses katanas, and I, I don't, I don't know of many cowboys <laughs> which use katanas, that, but that it would be pretty you weird. Know, yeah, you you learn yeah. what you can with the abilities that are given to you. The so. next crossover, yeah, cowboys and katanas. <laughs> I'm down. I'm so down. So dual wielding katana user with a little bit of fire and peril also in there. His LB can deal damage to all enemies and reduces uh, the enemy's defense, which is pretty nice. Mm. Now his TMR is what we are wanting to focus on here, which is called Desperate Swordsman. And now this TMR is important because it boosts attack when equipped with a mm -hmm. katana, okay. and it also boosts attack when equipped with clothing. So you can get That's a good. total of 70% attack boost if you equip both of these things, katana and clothes, which makes it super, super convenient that this is happening on the Axstar banner. True. Right? Because Axstar yeah. is a katana user. He is, yeah, yeah. And he also can wear clothes, so if you equip that really, really handy gravy TMR onto your Axstar, you're gonna like the results, yeah, believe me. You will be able to get that sweet katana too from the story event, so. Yes, so make sure to take advantage of that. And now the one and only, right, that you've all been waiting for? Hackstar, the star of the show, get it? The rock star. The rock like star you. of the show, yeah. yeah. So Axstar, very, very important to the storyline. If you haven't been paying attention in season two, yes. he's one of the main characters, but also now he has come down from the heavens to grace us with his presence as a unit in the FFBE Global. He's going to be a true dual hand physical attacker, and he has many abilities that chain well with the absolute mirror of equity family, which is the style that he teaches last fellow in the yeah. story. So it's very, very appropriate and very... Um, Correct, according to the fits lore. Fits the theme, yeah. Fits the lore. Exactly. You know, love those characters. Exactly. All right. So, um, he's going to be able to maintain a consistent triple cast ability with what he has in his disposal in his toolkit, which makes him a very, very uh, damage-heavy unit, obviously. You can be casting, like, three attacks in mm -hmm. one turn yeah. every single time. Um, and his skills, his abilities have really high damage modifiers as well. So when he's hitting something, you know, the damage gets multiplied in, like, outrageous numbers, and the final product ends up being, like, really, really huge. Yeah, it sounds like a pretty, pretty good heavy hitter. <laughs> yes, yes, to say the least. He's yeah. not only got those things handy, but he can also imbue uh, ice and fire elements onto himself, okay. um, which makes him really handy if you want to, like, uh, do an elemental chain with another one of your units, and mm -hmm. you can reach a little bit more damage a little bit faster there. Um, but... His but. absolute mirror of equity abilities are the ones that are really going to make him shine like the true act star that he is. <laughs> I got jokes for days, guys. Don't worry. Got work jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so, the absolute mirror of equity um, family of abilities for act star, when, the more that you use them, the more that his attack damage output increases. So, if you're yeah. going back and forth, you are going to be building that cap higher and higher and higher until at the very end, uh, you know, you can use the LB as well. Um, once you've capped it all the way that it could possibly go, that's when you want to go in there and triple cast the absolute mirror of equity for maximum damage output. So, you know, play around with all of his mirror abilities. Make sure that you try to see how much damage you can accumulate before unleashing that, you know, final like triple super huge attack on something and you'll be like completely astounded by the numbers that float through your screen because it's going to be just like full of like digits <laughs> you won't be able to see yeah. anything else all right so um his limit burst yeah deals damage and ignores the enemy's defenses and boosts Ooh. damage for certain abilities and enables the triple cast ability right 
Nice. Yeah, I hear it's also going to be a CG limit burst yes. this time. So I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it yet, but we will take a look at Let's it in a just a second because we are not done discussing his Trustmaster and Super Trustmaster. So for the Trustmaster, it's going to be a Rush Glove. It's an accessory. It's going to have an attack boost of 40%. Um, just flat, not percent, but it's also going to boost your attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands by 50%, which is pretty good. And it will also boost your LB fill rate. So we want, again, to have that LB continuously going because remember that the LB uh, enables triple cast and we always want to have triple cast yeah. active when we can so that way okay, we can um, di uh, dish a lot of damage, right? So uh, his Super Trust Master is going to be the Ashen Ember. It's going to be a katana that gives you an attack of 180, which is really good of course that's a really high attack um, stat for a katana mm -hmm. so make sure that you get that for him if you can and equip it on him of course sorry to have made you wait but without further oh. ado let's take a look let's take a look at that limit burst yes let's right. do it look at that beautiful Absolutely beautiful. Love those CG animations. You know, it really gives you that uh, sense of like Japanese samurai warrior, right? <laughs> With all of the calligraphy going on. He's got his katana just flashing everywhere. He's going like 10 slashes a second. Like the dude is, is a total legend. And his He's a CG beast. animation is absolutely breathtaking. So look forward to that. All right. It's and time. It is time. To reveal. The surprise that was promised, and the surprise is that we are getting not one axe star, but two axe stars. What do you mean? Two. I know it's confusing. Yes, I know. Two axe stars. But let me explain. So we have axe star in his normal self uh, uh -huh. as the unit that we previously discussed. But yeah. we, if you have, again, spoiler alert for everyone, if you have been. No. Playing the no. story up to the most current chapter of uh, season two, you will know that Axtar is not just Axtar, but he's also Zeno of the Beta Star. He is the number two number in two. the orders, and uh, this is him in his armor as part That's of him. the order. So yeah. we have normal Axtar, friendly Axtar, who was hanging out with Laswell, and then and we have Zenother Rockstar. Yes, Zenother. Wow, that was a good one. <laughs> that's, that's props. Yeah, right is, yeah, I like yeah. your style. <laughs> All right, kidding. so this other rock star, which also happens to be the beta star, um, is original to the global version. So okay. um, we don't get many chances to redo uh, like main units like this, unless it's mm -hmm. kind of like like a reskin, like for summertime or like yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Halloween or something like that. So this is actually a, a global original unit made from the darker version of Axtar where he lives as part of the orders, which are okay. you know the enemies of, of, of Laswell and the gang. So um, how is he going to be different from the original Axtar though? So the original Axtar yeah. is very uh, focused on true dual handing or double handing. So when you have two, um, when you have one weapon in both of your hands, okay. whereas Xena of the Beta Star is going to be a dual wield focused unit. So he's going wow. to be going around with two katanas, one in each hand, and mm -hmm. will also have many abilities that chain very well with the absolute mirror of equity chain family. Okay, again, yeah. Yes, I mean, obviously true to his character and who he is. Now, he's going to be a specialist in the fire element. He can imbue fire as well as reduce fire resistance by 100%. Wow. Yes, so that <laughs> is not, actually yeah. pretty good. 100% is a very high that stat is. number, and if you imbue to yourself, you can deal a lot of damage that way. Um, it is important to note that this is more than the original Axtar, who can actually only reduce up to 75%. So Xeno can go all the way to 100, which um, you know is important to note. Now Xeno of the Better Star yeah. is also going to bring very exciting changes to the way that dual wielding works in FFBE Global, because he is going to increase okay. the chain cap uh -huh. when dual wielding, and it's also going to increase the true dual wield equipment attack bonus cap. So what does this mean? This means that when he is chaining mm -hmm. while true dual wielding, instead of doing an output damage of times four, yeah. he's going to go as yeah. far as times six now. Yikes. 
So that okay. that that is a very significant difference. That is a lot of damage. He's shaking that is being things up. Added. This guy. Yes, he's he's breaking the meta, quite literally so. And um, for his true uh, dual wielding equipment bonus, it's mm -hmm. going to go all the way up to 200. The cap is going to go to 200 now. So um, not only are you causing more damage while you are chaining in battle, but your equipment is also allowing you to reach higher uh, tiers of damage up to 200% in order to contribute more to towards that damage output. Okay. So absolutely, absolutely incredible. And his you know, abilities, what will they chain with? Because he's dual wielding, we don't really know. Well, I'm going to tell you, he's going to chain with four different <laughs> uh, chaining families, one being Aurel Ray, the second one being Divine Ruination, the OG chaining meta, the third one, of course, Absolute Mirror of Equity family, which is, you know, yeah, the main point of the game right now. And he's also going to be chaining with our new global original chain family for okay. Stormbrand, which was introduced with Esther, one of our spring units. So that's, that's a lot of versatility yeah, right there. It's it's yeah, a lot. Yeah. He is just ready to go with whomever it happens to be in the party and he's yeah. going to just dish out those chains like there's no tomorrow. So these abilities also have stackable um, multipliers. So make sure that you are taking full advantage of those when you're going into battle. Now, um, just like similarly to Axtar, the more that you use his mirror type of abilities, the mm -hmm. more damage that you can stack on top of each other by continuing to use these abilities, uh, including uh, LB. And yeah. with Axtar, what you want to do is you want to raise up that damage so that you can do a triple cast of Absolute Mirror of Equity in, in a row, right? And then that will give you like crazy damage. Now, with Xeno of the Beta Star, he's going to have this ability called Obliterating Mirror of Equity's Roar. It is a mouthful, but you know. It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that is the name, yes. Um, so what you were going to want to do with Xeno is that you use all of his mirror abilities to stack up that damage, and then at the very end, when you're all capped out, you want that triple cast to go obliterating mirror of equity's roar one two three and then just completely massacre anything that is in front of you um the crazy yeah. thing about this is not only how powerful it is but the fact that it chains with axe star's absolute mirror of equity Ooh, so, you so can have both yeah so triple cast your regular axe uh -huh. star yeah and then triple cast your xeno, xeno. of the beta star and just watch like. the sparks fly. <laughs> like, there will probably yeah. be nothing left nothing on left. that battlefield. <sighs> I Next. mean... That sounds, that sounds crazy it's strong. It's a lot to process. There is a lot going on. A lot of potential, um, yeah. Yes, I mean, it's it's amazing how these units wor work so well with each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. And, you know, to top it all off, his LB is going to be deal partial and mitigated damage to all enemies and then boost damage of certain abilities as well so please 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 look out for this unit this unit is something else unlike we have ever seen and i'm very excited to have him on board all right and now to talk about his trust master and super trust master his trust master is going to be the obsidian helm it is a helmet you'll get 20 defense flat 42 attack flat which is pretty good for a helmet and you'll uh get a, an ability called mind ablaze which is going to boost your mp by 20 percent and your lb fill rate by 50 percent which is okay. um, pretty good passives to have on there and then your super trust master is going to be the searing ember also a katana so axar gets uh katana for his stmr mm -hmm. and xeno also gets uh, katana for his STMR. Okay. This katana is also going to be 180 attack, but it does have an ability that it gets enabled and it's called Merciless Katana. What does this do? It boosts attack by 40% and it boosts physical damage against humans by 75%. Against humans. Yes, I mean, <laughs> you know, he's, guy. he's he's the less this friendly guy. version of Axter, yeah. right? So Axter's yeah. like, no, no, I'm not gonna hurt anybody, but Xena's like, I'm gonna hurt you if I have to. So it's brutal. You gotta, you gotta look out for that. Um, another thing we want to note about Xeno is his cooldown ability called True Mirror of Equity. He can deal partially mitigated damage to one enemy and boost the damage of certain abilities, as well as enable triple blade art, which is his triple cast ability. And I mean, that was a lot to discuss. There's still a little bit more. We do have a TMR ability called Seeing Red. So what is a TMR ability? Again, if you're not familiar, that's when you 
equip your TMR to your seven star, mm -hmm. and it unlocks a special ability. For him, it's going to be one called Seeing Red, which is going to boost equipment attack when armed with two one-handed weapons, and it's also going to, um, it has a chance to reduce attack and defense for all enemies as a counter. So when you okay. receive a physical or magic attack, you might just end up reducing your enemy's attack and defense. So, um, you know, seeing red, he's angry. He Don't, yeah. don't hit him, because yeah. he's going to hit back, right? No. All right. And so to end it all, I do hear that we have a little bit of uh, motion animated pixel art to yeah. share with you guys for Xeno. So let's go ahead and put it on screen and let's share take, with everyone. Let's take a look. Thank you so much for introducing those new units so awesomely. Of course, you want to get your hands on these new units, so we will be having, of course, a couple of step-up summons to help you get your hands on them. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll probably be able to see it on the screen in a moment, but yes, for the first step-up summon, uh, you'll be able to do it a total of one times. And uh, on step five, it will be a 5,000 lapis 10 plus one summon, but you are guaranteed to get Axstar. Right. So you'll want to get this guy, I'm pretty sure. So this is the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now for the second step up summon, this will be uh, one for Axstar and Xeno. Mm -hmm. uh, again, on step five, you are guaranteed either Axstar or Xeno. So as long as you do the step up summon, you, will, you, you are guaranteed to get some of these units. One of the good things also is that on steps one, two, and four, you have a uh, you will get a Axstar and Xeno pickup ticket, which basically, if you accumulate four of these, you are guaranteed uh, a five-star rainbow unit with a twenty percent chance of getting either Axstar or Xeno. That's right. So make so. sure to collect all four if you're trying to summon on that. I mean, it's always nice to get a. Uh, you know, guaranteed rainbow yeah. in any situation, know, yeah. way, so. or form. And if it has 20% to be one of the featured units, then even better. But yeah. good luck to everyone on their pools. We yeah. all need Axtar. We I'm all need for you. Zeno. I hope that we all get what we want. Next, of course, with this update, we will have new Ability Awakenings. So that's another good thing to look forward to. But as they are still in development, we can't tell you exactly what abilities will be awakened, but we can tell you what characters will have these Ability Awakenings. That's right, and I have the list right here. The list goes as follows. Elvis, Lexa, Yang, Rydia. Oh, sorry, not just any Rydia, pure Summoner Rydia. Ooh. Yes, that is definitely worth noting. That is, yeah. Atoning Dragoon <laughs> Kane, Emperor Shira, Leela, and uh, the One Winged Angel, our Lord and Savior, Sephiroth. Let's oh. give it up for Sephiroth. <laughs> now, if you haven't heard that yeah. Sephiroth becomes an absolutely unstoppable beast with ability awakenings, then I am letting you know right here and now that the moment that these are awakened, you need to awaken your Sephiroth's abilities because they're going to be amazing. And I don't know how different they're going to be from the JP version because, mm -hmm. like Alex already mentioned, we're still working on these and we don't yeah. know exactly what's going to get tweaked. But, oh my god, I cannot be more excited for this particular batch of Ability Awakenings. You guys should be hyped too. Yeah. And last but not least, we will also be having a new trial boss. Yes, everybody's always excited for new trials, so. Yeah, test your abilities against the Chamber of Indignance, Scorn of the Octopus. Yes, I'm not sure that that name is final. Don't quote us on that. Don't I quote think us. that needs to be revised, but we're talking about Orthros and Typhon, so. But yes, anyways, this guy he's going, seems pretty scary. He's going to be using all kinds of abilities against your party. For example, he uses Berserk. And so you'll definitely want to come prepared and keep that in mind as that can uh, make your, you know, some party members useless. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, so. they go in a little bit of a daze and they don't come back for a while. So it will definitely affect the way that you um, have to use your units in order to cover for that unit that is absent until they come back to their senses, so yeah. 
Yeah, and in addition to that, mm -hmm. uh, this boss will actually also use status ailments. So you'll definitely want to uh, come prepared uh, against those. I know I'll probably be using my Folka, right, to mm -hmm. help cure my status ailments That's for right. them. And if you are able to defeat this guy, you will get a rod as a reward. And this rod will give a plus 15 attack and plus 167 magic. Nice. So yeah, do your best and get this guy. Good luck. This is Q and A Corner. Yeah, where we answer your questions. So as always, thank you for sending us all your questions. Thank you. Thank you. So, Shari, mm -hmm. what sort of question do, do we have today? I think we have a total of two. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start with a question by Sean Knapp. Mm -hmm. And Sean is asking, how often will the Trustmaster coin shop be mm -hmm. updated? Ah, yes, yes. Uh, there is no current set schedule for it, it to be uh, updated at this moment. Um, we are not planning to change the content frequently as we uh, need to consider the development schedule. Um, if there is an update to the content, uh, we will announce it through in the game announcement. All right, well, that's pretty good. Be yeah. on the lookout for any news in your inbox that you might have not read. It might be a change in the choice, uh, Trust Coin yeah. shop, but um, they're not going to happen very often. That's yeah. what we're trying yeah. to say, right? Okay, yeah. great. Thank you for that, Sean. We are moving okay. on to question number two by Ariel Arvin Carista. Mm -hmm. Lovely name, mm -hmm. very beautiful. When will we have detail info in game? I found it very oh. frustrating that I have to consult the wikia just to see mm. how much break or imperil my mm. unit can actually inflict on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so we should improve this more earlier. Of course, of course. But sorry, mm -hmm. it, it'll be delay. But um, we are hoping to have this uh, feature mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So we are moving forward this, uh, moving forward with the development team. We are hoping to have it implemented by our third year's anniversary. Mm -hmm. mm. So please, so please bear, so please bear with us until this is done. What we're referring to here is the ability to actually see percentages um, related to abilities in the game's UI. This is something that we've had in the Japanese version for quite a while now, but we've been having to delay uh, in the gold mm. version for various reasons, unfortunately, yeah. but yeah. we are working on it, we're getting it settled, and we're really trying to get this um, like ability feature, mm. this ability function out for you guys by the third anniversary, which is coming up really, really soon. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. we don't have to wait much longer. I know that this is very much mm. needed uh, for the game, so I'm also very excited yeah. to actually have it. And if you have more questions for our next episode, make sure that you leave them down below in the comments or on Facebook, wherever we may happen to see your lovely faces, and we cannot wait to hear from you again. Yeah. The Bay Popular Fan Art Corner. Yay! Yes. Thank you so much for se sending out our wonder your wonderful artworks. Yes, thank you so much for sharing with us your love for FFBE. We always love seeing what you guys come up with, and this time we were just as excited. So we have two pieces to share with you guys, and they are these. Yeah. Wow. Excellent, Excellent job. Congratulations yeah. to our winners. What did you think about those beautiful pieces of artwork, Alex? I got to say, I really love the details in them and then also the use of colors. Like, I think mm. it, it really matches really well. And yeah, I mean, art is one of my favorite parts of the Final Fantasy franchise. So, yeah. yes. really great work. Excellent. Thank you so much for sending those in. We hope that you will keep sending more so that we can feature them on the next episode. And again, anything is fine. 2D art, 3D art, anything that you make, um, even the one that we featured today. I'm not sure if that's like a, like a blanket, like a quilt, or like mm. it was actually yeah. painted in yeah. canvas. It's, mm. it's beautiful. So please make sure to send it our way so that we can appreciate your lovely, lovely artwork. All right, well, that does it for us here today. It's yeah. about time to end this show, mm -hmm. but we had amazing surprises today. <laughs> yes. so, uh, the main topic this time was not only Axter, but also Zeno. Yes. 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Axstar's LB already looks really awesome from what we saw, and Zeno of the Beta Star mm -hmm. too. He looks like a really strong unit. Can't wait to get my hands on them both. Mm -hmm. Yes, and yes. they're so perfect for the second season of the FFBE, where so much story is happening around um, Axstar. And spoiler mm -hmm. alert, if you're not <laughs> uh, caught up with the story, yeah. you know, Axstar is Zeno of the mm -hmm. Beta Star. So it's really interesting to see both sides mm -hmm. of him mm -hmm. as a unit yeah. in mm -hmm. the global version of FFBE. FFBE is very unique, mm -hmm. very uh, exciting. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they are powerful attackers uh, that anyone will be able to use. So, um, if you're a beginner or the core player, uh, they should be great strength, great strengths to add your allies. Right, so make sure mm -hmm. that you look forward to this event, to both Axstar and Xeno, and recruit them to your party if you can, because they are legendary yeah. units that can do almost everything that you can wish for in an attacker, and I cannot wait to get my hands on both. <laughs> that would be really nice, yeah. right? Yeah. So good luck out there to you guys with all of your pools, mm -hmm. and we'll be seeing you next time. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.